The 45th ASABE Historic Landmark, dedicated in 2005, is the UC Blackwell Tomato Harvester. Prior to 1964, processing tomatoes were picked by hand. That year, Congress ended the Bracero program that had brought laborers from Mexico to the United States. Five years later, most processing tomatoes were harvested by machine. But the quick adoption doesn't reveal the true story, one that involved 20 years of effort by plant breeders, more than a decade of engineering, and close collaboration between the biologists and engineers. In 1942, Jack Hanna in vegetable crops at the University of California at Davis began to breed tomato varieties that could be harvested in one pass and withstand mechanical handling. Beginning in 1949, Hanna collaborated with Kobe Lorenzen in agricultural engineering at UC Davis to develop a harvester. The high level of cooperation between the various breeders and engineers was remarkable. Harvesting involves many functions, but separating tomatoes from the vines was crucial. Lorenzen and Hanna experimented with 15 approaches over a decade, shaking, combing, clawing, centrifugal force, etc. The separator was installed on the experimental machine, and the harvester was tested in late 1959 by the Herringer Brothers Farm near Clarksburg, California. The Herringers convinced Black Welder Manufacturing in Rio Vista, California to commercialize the design. Patents were granted to Lorenzen, Sluka, and Fred Hill, chief engineer at Black Welder. The UC Black Welder machines dominated the market in the early years. Designs and productivity kept improving. Key innovations included bulk handling and transportation of tomatoes, as well as electronic sorting to cull out the green fruit. Mechanical harvesting was controversial, but by reducing harvesting costs by close to half, it resulted in large increases in tomato acreage and tonnage. These increases provided additional employment in planting, irrigating, and tending the vines, as well as in transporting and processing the crop, producing employment which offset the stoop labor displaced by mechanical harvesting. Because of this ASABE landmark development, mechanical harvesting of processing tomatoes is now common worldwide.